Hey, church family. Uh, we just wanted to come on here uh, this afternoon real quick uh, just to speak to you face to face. I'm here with my wife, Pastor Lydia. Um, I know right now uh, it, it kind of feels surreal with so much panic and fear with the coronavirus uh, moving to a pandemic. Um, and many of you have uh, been impacted. A lot of our international students are um, in a lot of transition. Some of you are going home. Um, many of you working in the city is, are impacted as well. Um, you know, Fred Rogers once said that anything that's human is mentionable and anything that's mentionable uh, can be more manageable. When we can talk about our feelings, they become less overwhelming, less upsetting, and less scary. The people we trust with, a, with that important talk can help us know that we're not alone. So that's what we want to do today. We just want to come on here, um, let you know to, to manage that fear. And we know ultimately that God is in control. And like all storms, this shall pass. And we just want to let you know we're praying for you. This week, clearly, uh, we'll be canceling services just to be just an error on the side of caution. Um, and we're going to be inviting people to in, um, join us live stream where I speak on the idea and the illusion of control. It's not that we're actually losing control, but control it, itself is an illusion, which I spoke a lot about over the last few years. Honey? Hi, family. So I just want to share um, it's something that I shared on the Bible reading group this week for our Lent, uh, 40 Days of Lent. Um, I just want to talk about a little bit the verses don't worry about anything instead pray about everything it's from philippians chapter 4 verse 6 it goes on to 7. um i just want to say if you're feeling anxious and you're feeling afraid that's it's just a human emotion that we all go through so you know there's no shame in that but what scripture tells us is that when, when the scripture says, do not be anxious, he's, Paul's not saying, do not be anxious and get rid of the fear on your own, but it's a foc uh, he gives us a focus point to turn to God. So I just want to read here what I wrote um, for the post. Getting rid of anxiety is not just about mindfulness and state of mind, but about turning to the one who is God, who reigns and rules above all. And yeah. so let's turn to God constantly today with all and with everything that's happening. So as you find yourself in fear or, you know, as you're in social media, just feeling filled with fear, with concerns. And, you know, there's a lot out there that people put out. And sometimes it's hard to know what's really happening outside of your doors. And in those moments when you feel that way, just engage back to the Lord and turn to him and just say, God, I just turn to you. I turn to you and engage with him. And that's really what it means to pray continually and to really trust God. And the scripture promises that when we do that, that he will come and guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, that we will be protected in our hearts and minds and beyond sanity to peace, everlasting peace. So we'll be praying for you for all, um, for that. We're also going to have um, for the service that we have this week, since we're not meeting at the theater, we're going to have um, a worship set for you that's going to be curated for um, the worship that our whole community together, um, separated but together, will be worshiping. So um, yeah, let's worship together and. And this is really what it means to be together in spirit, though we may be apart. So let's worship in spirit and pray and engage with the Lord in spirit, together in spirit. So we'll be praying for you. Yeah, and just to let you know, for all those traveling and um, won't be able to make services, we're not sure when we're going to gather again. We're gonna, it's going to be a week-by-week basis. But we're just letting, letting you know that we're going to make uh, it the most possible to be connected um, and we're going to experiment with live streaming, um, speaking on broadcasting, podcasting, all that. So we just, we're going to try to keep connected and we're letting you know that we will be praying for you. Um, so thank you for listening in and know that we'll be praying for you. Pray for us and we'll get through this together. Okay.
All right. God bless. See you soon. Bye. Bye.